Hi guys, my name is Samantha and I'm with Hunger for Time, a personal chef service here in Pittsburgh. Today I'm at one of my friends' house, Trent and Jean, and we're going to make lobster spaghetti for them. I thought a great way to start the night would be to get some fresh basil from their garden. We're going to head inside and get cooking. Hi guys! Hey Sam, how are you? Good! Ready for your date night at home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, All right. well we got the lobster spaghetti, we're going to get it going and we'll see you guys soon. Alright, so now that Trent and Jean are out on the golf cart, we're going to get started on making the lobster spaghetti. We've got two main lobsters here ready to go. I'm going to show you how to unfortunately get them ready to go in the boiling water here. What you want to do, you see they're alive, just put one on a board at a time here. Grab your knife firmly, you're going to put it right down in the top of their head and pull the knife forward. And that kills them almost instantly. <laughs> We're going to take them and put them in the water. Okay, so now that we got our lobsters going in the water, I'm going to get the, our ingredients ready for our sauce. I have about four tablespoons of butter. We'll put half of it in now and get that melting down. So now that our butter is hot, we're going to add in one shallot and four tablespoons of garlic. Let it caramelize a little bit, get some color on it, and then we'll add our tomatoes and get our lobsters out of the water. These are San Marzano tomatoes. They're whole. They're the best canned tomato that you can buy in any store. So Spend the extra 50 cents or so and get the San Marzano. And once our sauce is going, we're just going to chop these up a little bit and get them into our sauce. And to our onions or our shallots and garlic here, we're going to add a little bit of brandy. And it's going to flare up when you light it. So if you want to just pull the pan back a little bit when you do it, add in maybe a half a cup. And just tilt it a little bit towards the flame. If you have a wood oven head hood, you might want to watch out for the flame. <laughs> so you want to take your lobsters out after about four to five minutes or so when they get this nice bright red color. Instead of using my hands and getting all messy, I like to use a pair of kitchen shears and just put them right into the can and chop them up. You just want to take your scissors, cut right down the back of the shell. Flip it over and do the same thing on the underside. Right underneath. And then the shell really just peels right off. Now the claw meat is a little more tricky to get out. I do two at a time. I lay them on my cutting board. And to avoid any splashing of lobster juices and meat, I just cover them with a kitchen towel. Take the back side of a knife and just give them a few whacks. There we go. So you can see the shell just cracks right off.
So now that our pasta is cooked, just al dente, I'm gonna bring it over to the sink. And I already have a strainer with a bowl underneath it to catch some of this lobster water and the pasta water that we boiled it in. Otherwise, you'd just be dumping it all down the drain, watching all that beautiful flavor go to waste. And you want it to, I'm gonna add about a cup or so, just to loosen up the sauce a little bit. You want it to be thick enough to cover a noodle, but not too runny. And you can see that it's not just plain water, not plain pasta water, it's got kind of a yellowy tinge to it. And that's from all the juices that came out of the lobster. So just add a little bit in at a time. We'll give it a stir. I think Trent and Jean should be back any minute um, from their golf cart ride. Enjoy their lobster spaghetti. Hey, we're back! We're back! Hey guys, how was your ride? Great, well dinner's just about ready, so come on in and finish your drink. Oh, that's terrific. Oh man. We're looking forward to it. Well, come on up guys, I've got the table all set. Oh, wow! Look at this! Man. Table for two! Alright! Enjoy guys, All right. I'll be right back with your meal! Alright All right, guys, Trent and Jean just got back from their ride and we're just going to finish up the pasta and serve dinner. Well, our sauce is looking good. I'm just going to add back in some of our spaghetti to coat it with the sauce. We don't need quite all of this here. Separate it out. I like to add the pasta in just so that it gets nice and coated with all that delicious sauce. A little easier to do with my tongs, I think. So just wiggle it in, toss it around until each noodle is covered. Right along with all of the juice. Slide it all in there. Mix it all together. I'm just gonna plate these up and grab a big pinch of the spaghetti. Put it right in the layer plate and just give it a little twist. Make for a nicer presentation. And then pick out some of those lobster pieces and just snug them on right on top there. Like I said, everybody likes to see that they're eating lobster. You wanna see what you're paying for, right? One of those claws right on top. Just because we're at home doesn't mean that with presentation doesn't matter. So go ahead and take a second. And sprinkle some of that basil that we picked from their garden earlier today right on top. Give it a little pop of color, great flavor. And that's it. We have lobster spaghetti dinner for two at home. Trent and Jean are gonna love this. Let's take it on out to them. I can't even begin to tell you how good this looks. They're gonna be so excited. <laughs> All right. Oh man, look at Lobster this. spaghetti. Oh. I hope you're ready. Beautiful. Enjoy, guys. Thank oh, you. The presentation is unbelievable. Thanks, Trent. Oh my God. Give me Thanks, five. Rachel. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>